Hi, um, I wanted to offer some uh, sober tips uh, just for anybody who's out there uh, that might be wanting some tips on how to stay sober. Um, and I printed this, I'm taking a class on Udemy. Um, and it's a free class that uh, offers just a whole bunch of different courses. Um, and I'm kind of getting in that mode of just trying to, this will help me also, um, but also help others as well. Okay, so this is Stop Drinking Alcohol, Get Sober From Home. Um, and I'm just going to kind of open up. I'm trying to flip this and also, you know, uh, hold this camera here. But uh, let's see. Put that there. So some of, some of the things that the course has said is to, you know, understand why a person is, you know, drinking. Uh, and then the frequency, you know, when, when do you feel the urge to drink? Uh, like kind of learning the reason why. Um, and then of course, you know, uh, get Jesus into your life. Um, he can help. He's the way, the truth, the life. Um, you know, he'll help with those different things. Um, I've seen him help, um, at the beginning of when I have realized definitely that I've needed help. Uh, he's helped more and more. So anyway, so one of the things it says here is getting to know yourself. How did you get started? And that's what we, I kind of just start, talked about. So what were your family's perception about alcohol? You know, did your parents drink? Did you ever see adults get drunk? So my parents never drank. Um, there's been moments obviously in my life that, you know, I haven't drank, but um, when you're in certain scenarios, um, that pressure that you see other people doing um, to handle certain situations, it's like in every movie, like, you know, it's, it's almost obvious, but that obviousness uh you at first you know need to just understand kind of like what is that trigger for you of the reason you would you know choose anything really you know but in this case it's alcohol but you know what makes you go out and you know maybe get uh, a candy bar or something so anyway you know and that's a good suggestion for you know eating candy uh, is a good suggestion for you know transitioning from alcohol you know choose something uh that is a little bit healthier than alcohol um you know and it's really not you know alcohol is a benefit like if you're on your deathbed sort of thing like at the last second it's useful but other than that you know when jesus was on the cross they offered him uh wine and so they tried to have a little bit of compassion for him and he rejected it you know he didn't need it but uh, I mean, technically he probably did, but he has his own reasons. He's smart. But anyway, okay. Uh, how did that make you feel? So I think knowing that my parents didn't drink, and obviously it's my parents because, you know, there's certain people that are prominent in your life, but, um, you know, knowing that the prominent people that were in, that are in my life don't drink, that helped me. And so um, I think getting away from that, you know, when you're an adult or becoming an adult, uh, that ideology kind of it makes me makes you and me, you know, a person, any person probably question, you know, that. So yeah, um, let's see. So what were you taught about in school? So I've seen this trend a lot on the internet. Is sometimes you know in high school, you're not directly taught about a lot of these things. I mean, history class it covers it. Um, but sometimes when it's not direct, if you're like a direct person, like, Hey, you know, don't do that type of thing. It may not sort of stick with you. So, um, yeah, I think I'm a direct person. I'd like to think, but, uh, sometimes I feel like it's both a combination of the indirect, like, let's say for example, you know, if you're in history class, um, and you hear like, Oh, Hey, this person, you know, they did this and then this was the outcome uh and you know therefore you should probably not do that same thing or you're probably going to have a similar outcome and so um it's not always the case about that you know obviously we're all different but um you know that's just an example of like sometimes in high school you know we may not necessarily get every lesson that you're supposed to learn in life so yeah um we can go through hopefully this video is helpful we can go through like um some other ones here just a second i'll try to find something
So what are some five non-alcohol related activities I can engage in or you can engage in? So, you know, um, yeah, figure out what is kind of uh, an activity that you can exchange for, you know, alcohol. So let's say if you're in your house and you don't have any motivation to go out and try activity, maybe you're depressed, like, and this is an example because of me, you know, I've, I've sort of thought of that and you know, one prayer. So that like, that's the get go. Like if you're at that state, it's probably just you and God. And so you're going to need to start off with that. Uh, but then, you know, take the ad, like advice of like, you know, find something that you can do that keeps your mind, uh, you know, away from thinking that alcohol is the solution. So, um, yeah. And then, um, uh, just, you know, finding things to exchange, uh, your alcohol, uh, consumption for like Snickers, you know, but of course the activity, the mindset, but, uh, yeah, you know, so, um, this is a total workbook, uh, like it's full of questions. So that's why I haven't really made uh, too many statements, I guess, about, um, what the course teacher says, but, uh, yeah, I hope this video is helpful, um, to anyone out there, uh, looking to kind of know what sober means. I didn't have a full understanding of it uh, when I read the Bible. Um, and obviously the Bible is like a, the number one sold book in the world. Um, and so they say that like you have low dopamine levels when you, um, you know, uh, are trying to find alcohol to drink because you're like sad or working through something, or maybe you're not like at the level sad, but you know, something is kind of, you know, weighing you down. So yeah, uh, you know, you'll get through it. Um, I got through it. Um, I continue to get through it. Um, you know, everybody has a problem. Uh, choose to, you know, I've watched on how to adult, um, you know, people have problems and everybody gets rejected, you know, um, and so I think the rejection is a big, big one for a lot of people, including myself. And so, you know, um, choose to try to grow from that rejection instead of letting it consume and like destroy kind of the things that are in your life. So uh, I hope this video helps anybody out there. So uh, thanks so much. Uh, and I will talk to you next time. See ya.